So I found a void while trimming it down. So just mixing up a little bit of epoxy and mixing in some of the sawdust that we had uh, of the same material. And that's going to make the epoxy the exact same color. Now I could mix up another batch of black epoxy as well. That would have worked. But seeing I had the sawdust right next to me, I figure, as you see there, good color match. It'll make a good filler. Makes the epoxy a little thicker as well, so it's not going to be quite as runny. But that's perfect for the application I need. So that's going to slow us down a little bit as uh, as this dries, so another hour or so before it'll be uh, workable. But it'll make it stronger. So stay tuned. So we have everything polished up to 600 grit. We have a small 7 8 stick here. It's going to be a shorter cane. So this was a scrap piece of butternut that had a huge crack in it. So over the years I've just kept filling it with leftover dark epoxy that I had in several projects. So it's taken me about two years. But this was a scrap piece of wood. You see the, the grain is going every which way. But makes a perfect topper. So what we're going to do is now fill it in with uh, some teak oil. And let's make those colors come alive. So we just have some in a little container here. A little piece of t-shirt. It's got a good angle for you. Little transition piece between the topper and the rod be interesting to see oh look at all that green absolutely fantastic look at that that is phenomenal And the rod darkened up nicely. It's a it's a darker piece of, of wood. So those colors go together nicely. We're going to have several coats on this topper. And then I think we're going to do uh, some polyurethane. Something to keep the shine going. I think this one will look great with a nice shine coat to it. As you see here, it'll dry obviously to a matte finish. But I think a shiny coat will do. This is fantastic. I'm very excited. <laughs> 